What most people don't know is that when someone dies in your house, it's up to you to clean up the mess. That's where I come in. There's someone waiting for you. I'm not sure if you remember me. You came by my house this weekend. The day after my husband disappears, a crime scene cleaner shows up at my door talking about a job he did at my house. What am I supposed to think about that? Why haven't you told the police about me? I don't trust the police. Technically, it's a missing persons case. I'm a homicide, baby. I'm just getting a head start. Forensics searched the Norcutt place yesterday. Not a drop of blood. What they did find was cleansing agents. Lots of them. Following the lead here? It's not my case. It's not my department. It's just you and me. What was your husband going to tell the grand jury? He called this his get out of jail free card. It's an account ledger, but it's in some kind of code. The badge numbers. I'm a retired police officer. I know who you are, Tom. I'm seeing you all the time these days. That's not good. This case was closed before it opened. The whole investigation is a show. I'm in the ledger. What if tomorrow you come home shot? Or what if you don't come home at all? It's not gonna happen. Tom, please don't be so naive. We all have secrets. I'm tired of keeping secrets. Partners followed a plan. I told you to sit tight. You dig up some book half the city will kill you for. Walk away, Tom. Forget it. What is wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Who's going to clean you up?